This video is brought to you by Storyblocks Video. She's coming down. And showtime. Hey you! I see that you don't have a Storyblock subscription yet. Do you want to miss out on the most amazing deal for filmmakers? I don't think so. Now click the link below, kiddo. Afternoon, Jordy. I put a link in the description below, Mrs. Wheeler. Thank you. Hey guys, it's Janik here for Cinecam.net and welcome to another Copycat Friday. A weekly series where we recreate effects from famous movies and music videos. And this week it's time to recreate something from Stranger Things. We recently did a poll about which effect we should recreate and a lot of you asked about the upside down. However, there's already a very good tutorial on how you can do that. If you want to check it out, you can find the link in the description below. So after seeing that tutorial, we decided to go for another cool effect. Now we did some brainstorming and we have a little problem now. Jordi's brain stormed a little bit too hard and now he's acting kind of weird. And I think, I'm, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty sure he might be sick. Heck, it's even been a while since I saw him. Maybe I should go look for him? Jordy! Where are you, Jordy? Jordy! Where are you, Jordy? Jordy! Oh no! Janik! Janik! Nope, nope, not gonna, nope, nope. Whoa, that was heavy. Maybe I should call a doctor? Nah, he's going to be fine. I'll just ask Billy from Stranger Things how he cured his black veins. But in the meantime, it would be really cool to recreate that effect in After Effects. But first, I want to thank our sponsor, Storyblocks Video. Like Jordi already mentioned, it's a must have for filmmakers. Storyblocks Video is a fast expanding online library where you can find any film asset you need. You only need to pay one price per year to download unlimited assets. To start downloading right away, check the first link in the description below. Okay, now let's create the black veins effect. The first thing you are going to need is a shot of your talent and his arms. But we don't just make a simple shot. No, we're Cinecom. We first build a cool set. Lorenzo? Did you just fall? Is the red okay, Lorenzo? I really hope the red is okay. Because we are going to need it to take our shot. Now besides the camera, we're also going to use a tripod. Because this will make it easier for us. Next we're going to need some tracking markers on the arm of the actor. And that is it for this shot. So now we can jump into After Effects. The first thing you want to do is drag the shot of your actor into the new composition. Next we are going to start with the tracking. As you can see, we made three tracking markers. We did this with a very good reason. After our first test, we noticed that the vein jumped around a lot when we did a two-point tracking. And that's why we found something new. For this effect, we are combining tracking and the puppet tool. So the first thing you want to do is create three null objects. One for every tracking marker. You can also give them names, like left arm top, 
middle or bottom. This will make your workflow easier. Now select the original layer and start tracking. Within the tracker panel, we select track motion. The position is the only property that needs to be checked. So you can immediately place your tracking point on the first marker and start tracking. When it's done, link the tracking data to the correct null object. These steps need to be repeated two more times so that all the null objects are linked with the tracking data. It can maybe take some time, but it will definitely give a good result. Now that every point is tracked, it's time to remove the points as they are in the way now. The first thing you need to do is duplicate all the null objects once and the original clip three times. Now create a small mask next to the tracking marker on the first duplicate from the original clip. Then nudge the layer with the masked out part over the tracking marker. This will make the marker disappear. Also feather the mask a little so you don't see it's a different part of the skin. Next up is to freeze the cover up clip. So select the clip with the mask and right click on it. Go to time and here you can select the freeze frame option. Now it's time to make the cover up clip stay on its place. So take the pick whip tool and parent the cover up to the correct null object. And with this, I mean that you need to parent the cover up for the top tracking marker to the top null object. Now do this again for the other two tracking markers. And when you are done with this, select everything except for the duplicate null objects that you didn't use. Now right click on your selection and choose pre-compose. You can give it whatever name you want. Just make sure you select the option, move all attributes into a new composition. And this will combine everything and will leave you with one clip without tracking markers and three null objects. Now it's time to create the veins. For this you're going to need a solid, which you can create from the menu on top. Select layer, new and then solid. The color of the solid doesn't matter, but you can already give it a name such as veins. Next we are going to add the advanced lighting effect to the solid layer. You can find the effect in the effects and presets library. Then within the effects controls, you can already set the lighting type to breaking. The most important setting you need to change is the glow opacity. This needs to be zero. For the rest of the settings, you can play around a bit until you find the vein structure you want. Also set the begin and the end point of the lighting on the correct spot on your arm. Playing with these points can also give you different vein structures. Oh yeah, don't forget to set the core color to black. Otherwise you are going to have white veins instead of black. Now to make the veins appear, you simply need to animate the decay and the core drain. For the decay, you can start around 15 and when you are a few frames further in time, decrease it to around 0.8. For the core drain, you can start at 100% and decrease it to 0 further in time. This will make the veins appear slowly in time. But as you can see in the beginning, the veins are still visible. This is easily fixed with a mask. However, we first need to pre-compose the solid before we can mask on it. So after we have pre-composed the solid, you can take the pen tool in the toolbar on top. Draw a mask so that the veins are gone. Feather it a bunch and now let's animate the mask. In the beginning of the clip, you can enable the mask path and move further in time. Let the mask open up and cover the entire arm. This will make the veins appear and also remove the veins that aren't on the actor's arm. Now that the veins are present, it's time to make them stay on the actor's arm. Look for the point where the veins lay the best on the actor's arm and where the mask is completely open. On this point, we are going to parent the veins to the null object. To do this, we are going to need the Puppet Position Pin tool from the toolbar on top. With this tool, place three points on your veins, one for each null object. When you have done this, you can open up the effects properties for the Puppet tool. Go to Mesh 1, Deform and then open up the three Puppet pins. Here you can see the position values for these Puppet pins. These positions we are going to parent to the positions of the correct null object. Again, parent the position from the bottom puppet pin to the position of the bottom null object. This parenting needs to be correct, otherwise your veins won't stick on the actor's arm. But if done correctly, the veins will now follow the arm perfectly. Okay, we are almost there guys. We just need to add some more detail to make it more realistic. The first detail you can add is the effect Gaussian Blur. Here you can set the blurriness to around 13. For the next detail that we are going to add is to make the veins blend better. Start by duplicating the veins and the original clip. Make sure that the veins are above the original clip. Now you can set the track matte option from the duplicated original clip to alpha matte vein. This will only reveal the clip in the same shape as the veins. Next go to the blending option from the duplicated original clip and set this to color dodge. This will make the veins blend in a little bit more. But if it doesn't blend enough, 
you can always lower the opacity from the original veins to around 80%. As the last detail, we are going to add some skin rash which follows the veins. To do this, you can duplicate the original clip one more time and place this on top of everything. Set the blending mode to overlay and the opacity to around 35%. Next, create a small mask that covers the beginning of the veins. Enable the animations for the mask path and animate the mask further in time so that it opens up together with the veins. Also, don't forget to feather it a bunch. And if the rash isn't red enough, you can also add the lumetri effect and add some tint to it. Whew, damn, that was longer than I thought. But you can't deny it's a super cool effect. Janik! Janik! And that was it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for the support. And like always, stay creative. Another, another, another! DJ Kalat! Playing with these point. What? I hate tape. The f***ing dingen valt altijd af. <laughs>